Okay, so I finally have a battle with um one of the Poke Ladder um gym leaders. Um I decided to to start out with the OU leader just because I think that's the thing I'm best in, probably, I don't know. But um I actually try to message him on or try to leave the challenge on the Poke Ladder on the website. But um I just noticed it was so flood there, there's comments everywhere and it wasn't really any order. So I just decided to PM it blah. PMing on YouTube, and then, yeah, that kind of worked out better. Anyway, um, the beginning of the battle is kind of self-explanatory. By the way, um, we had a battle before this, um, but we got disconnected, so we decided to have another one without same moves. So yeah. Anyway, right there, I was predicting a earthquake. Um, him predicting my switch into Starmie because you know I, ah, because he knows I have one on this team. Um, I'm going to go into my own, well, my Starmie now, as he's the Dragon Dance, and I know I can take an Earthquake nicely, um, at least one, and I actually do take it better than I thought I would. So, yeah, I go for the Surf, because I was predicting a switch into Electrofire, since, I, like I said, we know each other's Pokemon, um, well, some of them at least, and now I go for the Thunderbolt and he, now he goes in the Electivar so that really sucked for me right there um <clears throat> so I just go and switch into Zelf as fodder basically so I can uh, safely bring in Gliscor and the Ace Punch isn't even going to do half behind the Reflect which is really really good for me because that means I can get two Sword Dance up without <coughs> sorry without him uh, taking me out no, actually, one sword dance. Never mind. Yeah, I get one sword dance up, and now I'm just gonna baton pass it to my Metagross, and I think go on to Sweeping. Um, he knows that I have Metagross also on this team, so he's gonna go for the Earthquake. It's not gonna do sh jack shit behind the Reflect, which is really, really nice. Because now I'm gonna be able to K. Oh, God, I can't talk today. K him with Earthquake, and yeah. I think I now proceed to sweep his entire team with this Metagross. Kind of spoiling the battle, but yeah. It's gonna run a Zapdos. I know I can't take it out with Ice Punch, but I'm just gonna try anyway. Um, he's gonna go for the Heat Wave, which is not going to take me out, even though I don't have the Life Screen up, just because Metagross is a beast and this is actually kind of a bulky one, as you can see by the HP. Um. Yeah, I'm going to get some leftovers and going to switch to Gyarados. And I don't get intimidated because of clear body, which is awesome. The Ice Punch isn't going to quite knock it out, but it's going to get the freeze. Um, that I don't think that mattered. Well, no, it didn't matter because I was going to just KO, KO it next turn with Ice Punch again. I'm not going to go with Thunder Punch because he doesn't know I have that yet. He probably does know, but he's not. he can't be 100% sure. Um... So now I'm going to Rose Raiden, and I don't want to risk a Zen Headbutt missing. So I'm going to Ice Punch, and I know Ice Punch is also going to KO, so it doesn't really matter. And so Rose Raiden dies, and now he goes into... Dum Dum Dum, Zapdos. And since I'm faster, I can just KO with Ice Punch. And yeah. Now he's his last Pokemon. I haven't seen it yet. Um, Not in this, and not in the first battle. But it's actually going to be a Blissey. And the Blissey, since it has crappy uh, physical defense, it cannot take the Zen Headbutt. And is going to die to my Metagross. And my thing's lagging right now. Is it already did? Um, in the case of that, yeah, I get the, I think, Volcano Badge. And um, beat my first Poke Ladder challenge. So I will try to beat the entire Poke Ladder, including the champion. So I um, hope you'll be rooting for me on that. And comment, subscribe. And peace.